Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Santa's Workshop. Today, we have got another great product from Vevor that we're going to be uh, installing and checking out. And this thing here, I'm kind of excited about. I've been wanting one of these for a while. And they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review this product. And I said, absolutely. So, what we got here is an automatic retracting hose reel. Comes out comes right back in and let's see there we go you can hold it take it right back to where it was it's going to make winding up so much easier um, I want to get this thing on the wall and we're going to uh, we're going to go ahead and attach it but also have a uh, an air filter that I've had for quite a while since I'm going to be painting that I want to install as well. So what we're going to do, we're just going to temporarily uh, hook it up to the compressor and get it all installed and on the wall, show you what the how easy it is to pull out and retract. It comes with its own uh, mounting bolts and it also comes with a swivel attachment swivel you can hook on right here and that way you can you know tilt it this direction tilt it this direction but I'm not going to use that I want to go right to the I-beam over uh, by the compressor and right where I've got my old hose wound up and I'll be using my own bolts on it I won't be able to use these but they do have anchor bolts on here so you can anchor it to just about anything you want and this thing is not going to come off. It's got a uh, instruction book. Shows you all the maintenance and everything that needs to be done. Anchor bolts are for the concrete or block walls. So you can, it's very versatile. You can put, put it in several different ways. And it has your care and maintenance, of course. But it comes with the pigtail hose from the compressor to the unit. And on the unit itself, it has all your uh, warning labels and everything. So let's get you set up over there by the compressor and let's get this installed. Okay, first thing we're going to do is unhook my old line and yes I blew the compressor down this morning so we wouldn't have any pressure on here and that's that simple now let me go get the unit and we'll hang it up there get y'all in here as close as I can now then one little thing when you're doing your Teflon tape on here all it takes is a couple of rounds you don't have to really get it real thick um, you can get too much on there and especially brass fittings when you're screwing them in if you get it too tight it will split the fitting you're going into so be very careful on doing that so first part we're going to put it right here and I'm sure you I'm right in y'all's way Strip that down let it twist Oh. 
Well, now, that's interesting. Let me see if I can find a thinner wrench. I never throw away a tool. That way, I can always have wrenches that will work <laughs> when my good ones don't. And that ought to be good on that one. All right. Now then, when you're going into another deal here like this, what you want to do, so you're going to be twisting in this way, so you want to twist your deal about how many rounds you think you're going to be going in. Oh, see, I misjudged, so I need to go a couple more. Still not. Okay. I think I might have got it this time. this is how I'm going to just zip tight right here till I can get my filter system on and all we got to do is put a new end on it and we are done all right we got her up there we got it on let's see how this thing works stretches out quite a ways there doesn't it we're all the way over here by our vice so I think that would get us there all the way to the vice all right let's go back with it And there we go. The Fever. Let's see. And there we go. The Fever NT A15 whole automatic air hose reel. Fever, thank you so much. And guys, I think this is going to be a good addition to the shop. Um, check the link below and get your own.